All right, we're doing weed show. What do you want? What was your uh, question? Team GB here. Best commentator ever is the weed. Wow. Uh, that's so, hey, Paul and JT are up there. Take that. <laughs> Team GB. Way to go. How could you say that about Paul Malin? He is Team G. No, 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 no. You, AMA, you are the best commentator. Wow. All right. All right. We'll just qualify it with that. All yeah. right. I appreciate it. And then no you worries. asked me, I could barely understand. Uh, am I what? Am I vlogging? You, are you vlogging? Yes. Sir. Wow. He's I can't vlogging. say it. I cannot say it that <laughs> with that much class. <laughs> Welcome to opening ceremonies. Welcome to the Weed Show. Yeah. Thank you. Brought to you by a Honda and the revised, improved 2023 CRF450R. Uh, there are changes to the motorcycle, a new frame for better handling and a better low end, more front side tractable power, courtesy of some engine changes and available in three flavors. The 50th anniversary retro design, the standard CRF 450R, and of course the works edition, which has a lot of cool parts and pieces on it. Uh, thanks to Honda for the support of, yeah, it is right now. Yes, sir. Awesome. That better? Uh, and also uh, that thanks that to Honda for watch? supporting this event big time because we've got Team USA about to line up. Okay, Summer of Beaks, can it continue? Your client, Chase Sexton, I know you didn't get the title you wanted. No, but... But how about this weekend, Beaker? Let's redeem ourselves this weekend and win this for America. Dude, he said in the press conference, Chase Sexton said, I trained as hard the last two weeks as I did the preseason. That's how bad I want this. I, I have a text from his trainer just saying like, what an animal he's been the last two weeks. It's not rest time. Langston? He, he, he might be face down having a better time than I, anybody I else. I've seen you last year at Southwick. I appreciate that. That's what likes to was still with us. Great outfit. This is what it's all about here at Motocross the Nations, the rabid fans. It's only opening ceremonies day. I'll give you a little bit of atmosphere there. Oh my gosh, a podcast, <laughs> podcast. Let's see it. Podcast, podcast. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. You want my picture with that? Here, it's our publisher, Scott. He's going to take our picture. One, two, three. Front cover. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> yes. Uh, so opening ceremonies, or if we call it teams in trucks, that's the way we do it. Some celebrities here. Whee! Yep. Uh, so this is an awesome thing. Uh, the teams go around and they get to meet the fans here on a Friday and we'll get into the mix of uh, fans out here, the rabbit atmosphere in just a moment. Uh, not here. Don't be cheering for me, everybody. <laughs> you missed us cheering for USA. USA is good, yes. It's here for them, not me. Yes. yes. Yep. Sneaking our way through. Am I one of the sons? Am I one of the sons? Am I one of the sons? What's your bike? We're good. This is Tom back there. Hey, all right. How was opening ceremonies? Was it rocking? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I expect a little bit more American flags. It's not, not as loud. Not I feel like it needs to be crazier or louder. I haven't went out there yet. Oh, oh. Because you guys are me. so good. Yeah, yeah, oh, they have not Team GB. Yeah, 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 team yeah. GB. Let's go. Well, congrats. Um, I think it's just the 15th year in a row you guys have been on the team together, I feel. <laughs> Congratulations. And it's only the second time, but yeah. Are you serious? I think so. You guys have only been on the team two times together? No, it's been all like mismatch. Like, okay. I've been on I with see. Ernie. He got landed on. Oh, yeah, and, I got landed on that. Yeah, then I've been on with Tommy like different times. Yeah, we've all like. I, I really feel. Mark Chamberlain, his team manager. Or team right. GB. What did you call your team? It's an old TV show that you made the joke of. Dad's Army. Dad's Army. Older guys on Team GB. Uh, and that's the other thing. We got the rabid fans. I'll give you that in a moment. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to walk down this lane, but I'm going to do it anyway to give you the guys the coverage of the lead show. Uh, but oh, this is Team France hopping in the truck. Maxime Renault. There's Fino, the team manager. There's Marvin Muscan and there's Dylan Ferrandis. Uh, Ferrandis gave us an update at the press conference saying that he's 100%. He feels good, even though he missed the, most of the races this year. I guess his back is okay. And the uh, French are about to march out and uh, be met by the fans. Here's some of their supporters right here. I'm afraid of these guys. We got to be afraid of these guys. We race to nation, especially at Red Bud. Calvin Vlanderen. Oh, here we go. Team manager, yes. And Kai DeWolf, who was born with Team Fried. You're like an original Team Fried from 2019. That's how America knows you, the kid from Team Fried. Uh, you got to like your chances. I know what people are going to say. I, I know you don't have Jeffrey this year, but this is a solid lineup. You guys yeah, can get it sure, done. Sure. Yeah. I mean, we got second last year, and uh, there's disappointment with that, so. Uh, 
come back here slow. Yes, uh, but for you, how many times is this? Is, I'm gonna ask, and how many more times do you get the "Hey man, can you do it again?" Because you're gonna get yeah. that all weekend, Glenn well, Golden Hoff. A million of times, I yes. have already. But uh, yeah, you know, obviously that's always the goal. But uh, you also know it's not that easy, and also especially this year, uh, a lot of strong riders. So uh, yeah. it will be it will be hard. But um, you know, I'm I'm here to do my best and hopefully come out with another win. It would be good. Yes. If you don't podium, the podium has to be bare minimum, right? You guys have like podium. <laughs> that has to that's be. That's the goal. That's, that's the, goal. the goal, right? That's yeah. The goal, yeah. Yeah. You're not here to like ah top five. It has no, to be at no, least no. in the mix. Yeah. I think we only will be happy with with a, with a podium. Yeah. yeah. That's what I figured. Okay. All right. Better luck this time, by the way. Thanks. Calvin Vlanderin. It's gonna happen. One GPs this year. You're legit. One a GP, not GPs. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I was giving you too much credit. <laughs> Maybe there'll be multiple after this weekend. All right. He did win a GP. A GP. That's Calvin Vlanderin of the Dutch team. That's the Dutch squad. Uh, I don't know if I have access to this area, but I'm gonna go anyway. Uh, here's some sort of structure. I don't know that we can get a better view. Maybe this is for media. There's Team Belgium. Uh, Jeremy Van Horbeek saying this is going to be his last uh, race. German, Jeremy Van Horbeek going to retire after this. And uh, Yago Geertz, who uh, is a close second in the uh, MX2 division this year, is going to move up and race a 450 uh, for the first time at this event. So uh, that's the story on Team GB. And... Oh! In support of Team Japan. Very good. Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki, gotta fly. The Rising Sun, I respect that. Strange alliances and allegiances here. That's awesome. Yeah, that's some of our Pro Circuit folks and Kawasaki folks supporting Joe Shimoda on Team Japan. That's what's so fun about this event, the mix. Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha representing, good stuff. And Paul Parabinos, this is your dream. Yes. To be back here four years later with a better effort. That inside gate ain't gonna be left open. This okay, week. we're watching and it's not gonna happen. Do uh, you feel like you've accomplished what you want to accomplish? Do you feel good about the team? Yeah, I think we got an awesome team. Um, we raised a lot of money for the race teams to help yep. burden yep. the cost of coming. We got 44 grand that we're gonna give to Star and uh, Star and Honda. Wow. So I'm pumped on that. I think we got the three best guys we could have chosen. All the teams are all in. We had a good like little training camp before this race. So. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, we're just, all we can do is make sure we tick every box and hopefully it goes well. That's a real effort, a unified effort. Raise it for USA. And the money goes straight to the teams, so the teams want to participate. That's right. That's a huge thing. Well, Star's gonna anyway, but let's help you out. So that is awesome. Hey, guys. Can't walk past here. I knew I'd get stopped at some point, and it's this point right here. I still feel like I went further than I should have been, actually, anyway. So, yeah, that's what we're here for. He's on YouTube. Uh, we have the ability to call us. I'll take half a starting gate. There's the sky boxes with uh, so called VIPs. And let's get a little more. I'll go around this side. Look at this crowd. Yeah. What's up? Mitchatron. That's my guy at Racer X. Fans here. Yeah, yeah. I better get out of here. We'll be right back. Some of a remix of Sweet Caroline there. I don't know the relevance. But either way, the fans are cheering, and here comes Team France. You're part of Team Morocco. Team Morocco. Yes. How did the, uh, with them this weekend. How did the gate pick lottery go? Gate pick lottery went as good as it could for Team Morocco. We are gate one. Gate pick one Let's in the qualifiers go. tomorrow. Yeah. Let's see if they can keep gate pick one into the motos. Okay, and they dominate, dominate qualifying. All right, Jason. Uh, he's helping out Team Morocco. And they got first gate pick. You never know. It's the president of the AMA right here. 
Our are membership's you? up to snuff and up to date. Right. Jeff What's Canfield, up, get the magazine every month. Appreciate it. So our membership goes to, that's uh, Rob Dingman, the president of the AMA. There's Team GB, we'll be back. two 450 riders with open and MXGP together. You take your five out of six best scores to determine the results of the event. And the riders are actually scored individually overall. Now back in the day, they used to score you by your class. Now you're scored individually. So if you're on a 250, you finish fifth in a moto, you get fifth. You don't get second 250. So there's a lot more strategy to this race and a lot more uh, this thing that you didn't even realize matters matters in this race and other things. 
Mr. Burkeen for the AMA. I'm going to see if I can catch Team USA when they come back out on the other side. Uh, you know the scores and the rules now and probably the standards. We'll shoot our show in a minute. Hey, guys. Um, obviously, Team USA with both Sexton and Tomac at such a high level all summer and with the home field advantage, which did not work at Redbud in 2018, but usually it provides a boost. Uh, with those two guys at the high level they are on, and as you heard from Sexton's agent there, uh, oh, Chris Beaker on stunt. Yeah, that's what you I do. Ready for the leprechauns tomorrow? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Where's Team we'll Leprechaun? That's awesome. Oh, we're right here. Yeah, we're right here. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. You guys, going so, tomorrow's going big. Today oh, we're just warming up. Them. All right. Absolutely. Oh, you know this what? guy's ready. This guy's ready. Oh. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Huge with the Irish. Uh, with Team USA's two riders, Sexton and Tomac, at such a high level, and they're on home field. Yes, thanks, thanks boys. Uh, it's gonna be hard to topple them, but in a one day event, really anything can happen. So that's what you have to think about. The weirdo randomness of luck. I'm just in the way, I'm just in the way. Yeah, hey, everybody. Oh, Mario, what's happening? Slept in your rig last time, four years ago. Bailed me out on Saturday night. The old Red Bull rig. Um, but anything can happen here, and everybody knows the other teams that are strong. Uh, Australia obviously has a team that almost has the same home field advantage. It's not like the Lawrence brothers are going to be unfamiliar with anything here. Jet making his uh, 450 racing debut. Then you have uh, Team Netherlands, I think, is very underrated because they don't have Jeffrey Hurlings. But with the three riders we talked to earlier, Koldenhoff, the Wolf, and Calvin Vlanderen, I think they're very capable of being in podium contention, and that means you're one mistake away from winning. Hey guys. And then uh, the French team always seems to pull something off. Now look, they don't have Tom Vial, the MX2 world champ. It's Muscan racing the 450 because Vial wants to get his head wrapped around Supercross already for next year because he's moving to the US. Uh, Marvin didn't race all summer as you know, but uh, he should be capable when it counts. He's experienced. You just can't count out the uh, the French team. They just seem to engineer things regardless of who they put on the squad. So you got to watch for them as well. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, a lot of people think that it's those three. Uh, France, Australia, and Team USA are the favorites. But I feel like the Netherlands have a shot at it. Uh, and Spain to win would be a bit of a struggle. But uh, they have Jorge Prado, Guillaume Ferez, who you remember getting on a star bike and all of a sudden being a top 10 guy in the 250 Nationals at the end of the year and Ruben Fernandez, who's been very good uh, throughout the year and is a factory Honda ride for next year. So don't count those uh, five squads out of a big tussle for victory. Uh, that's our weed show. Look at this beautiful dirt. Red Bud is ready. I hope you're ready. These fans are ready. We'll see you tomorrow. And thanks to Honda for backing our show and also for giving us the gift of two Lawrence brothers, Chase Sexton on the factory machines to put on a heck of a show for this crowd throughout the weekend. We're gonna be back on Saturday night and of course Sunday. Lucky. I'm big in Morocco. Really? Yeah. Of I'm course. big in Morocco. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All the way from Africa. We watch yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your podcasts and everything. Of yeah. course we do. You should sing the post, podcast song. Post racing shows. That's okay. right. From we'll Jason we'll get you in it this weekend. Hi. And you guys Good got job. the number one gay pick, yeah. Team Morocco. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Team Morocco. You're gonna get some hole shots. Yeah. 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 Morocco. Yeah. Hole shots for Team Morocco at the gay pick. Pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun. It was awesome. Welcome back. Thank you. It's gonna be better this time. Just gonna make some predictions. Yeah, it's gonna get better. You will, will you go that far? This, it's gonna be better gonna than 18? Be oh yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll go that far. It's definitely gonna That's be better. That's not a high standard. Either. No, I know. Uh, Eli got a fourth. That was the best anyone did. We can beat that. Uh, how fun is this though, John? Just this atmosphere. Oh, we'll we'll talk awesome. about it. Is yeah. it's it's there's nothing like it. So, did you get to experience in your bicycle days like World Cup stuff? Did you see this in other things, or is yeah, this pretty this unique? Yeah, this is pretty equivalent to our World Championship races. Yeah, yeah, that's saying a lot. Yeah, a lot of cowbell, a lot of cowbell. And uh, Team Guam, go Team, team Guam. Guam. Go team Guam. It's Benny Bloss's dad, everybody. <laughs> Let's sneak down here and talk to the riders. You see how pumped even John Tomac is? You see, even he's stoked. John Tomac John is usually John stoic. Yeah, John had a smile on his face. Even he's fired up. Says a lot. It's bonus coverage. I just can't stop shooting. Let's go down here and stalk this area that I probably don't have access to go to. We got the big heads. The fans have these giant cardboard head cutouts. This is awesome. And opening ceremonies has now come to a close, but the fans just cannot be satisfied. They're still cheering. Here goes, uh, I'm trying to get in their face here. That's what I do, I get in people's faces. 
if they can pull this off. How was that? That was probably the best thing I've ever experienced in my life. That's right. And the fact that it's Red Bud is crazy. Yeah. Like, that it worked out Six, in your life like this. The dude grew up two and a half hours. He raced here growing up, and now he gets to be on Team USA at his home track. That is an opportunity that very, very few people get. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Probably the coolest thing he's ever done. And there's two proud uh, members of Team USA. I don't know. Can I call Roger an American? And they head back to the pits. Strategy session for Team USA. Uh, don't forget, we have a live show every night on YouTube. Go to the RacerX YouTube channel, the one you're watching right now. 7.30 each night. Enjoy the show.